Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be doing Manon's combo trial just in case if you want an extra reference on how I approach these combos. Uh, I will also try to break down the combos as I go just to make it easier to absorb. So let's begin. All right, let's start from the beginning. I was doing her combo trials the other day and I would say her combo trial is pretty straightforward. So number one, let's take a look. Medium punch into medium kick. Number two, heavy punch, heavy punch. Number three, crouching, heavy punch, heavy punch. Number four is jump in, kick, and sweep. Number five is basically medium kick into medium spin kick. Number six, we have back kick kick into light spin kick. All right. Number seven is just a drive impact into a command grab. So if you're having trouble doing the command grab, go all the way forward and then go all the way back. So like a half circle, okay? Like that. Like that, okay? And then once you get comfortable doing the command grab, the command grab is actually pretty far. And then you just add the drive impact into the command grab. Number eight, we have another drive impact into the back punch into the spinning punch, right? The trick here is if you're new to our case state, you can just do that in one motion. Uh, what I mean is that uh, holding back punch and then doing all the way to the spin punch you don't have to be like uh you don't have to go back to neutral what i mean is that you don't have to do back punch and then like spin punch okay you can just do it like back punch one motion spin punch if that makes sense so it makes uh combos a lot easier okay so we just do this into that Intermediate ones. So during a jump, heavy kick, come down and medium punch into a medium spin kick. So pretty straightforward. So we're gonna do that. Number two looks pretty straightforward. Crouching light kick, light punch into the round kick. So let's do that. Number three, let's break it down in parts. Uh, this one is also pretty straightforward. The second part is EX into a medium spin kick. So when you put them all together, is one, two, three, into that. Number four also looks pretty straightforward. It's the heavy kick counter into a bat light spin kick. So let's time that. All right. Number five is a medium punch counter into the light version of the spinning grab. So pretty straightforward. Number six, now we're getting into the cancel combos. So let's do it one line at a time to make it easier. So if you're having trouble, always break it down one line at a time. So you see, one line, two line, and three line, right? And one advice I have for uh, beginners is don't mash, you know, don't, don't panic. You know, learn it, learn the muscle memory. Let, let it be natural because when, when you mash, it's, you're gonna have more trouble connecting the next part. Uh, so always just, you know, do it as clean as possible and just don't mash, okay? Like that. So you can do it a hundred times. Don't mash, all right? It should be very clean. So that's part one. The part one is the first two hits, okay? This is part one. Part one. Part two is back heavy punch into the spinning grab, all right? So once you practice that, you just connect the, the two parts. Right? And let your muscle memory take over, okay? So let me see, uh, kind of like that. Number seven, it looks like you start with a drive impact and then you do the EX spinning, but then you have to switch it up to the kick. So you have to do EX kick, EX kick, okay? So that way you kick Ryu into the air. That way you can do your punch into the spinning grab, all right? I don't know the name, so just bear with me. So, but I think you have to do the medium or heavy grab because, for example, right, if uh, let's not do the whole combo. So you do this into this, right? If you do the light one, you kind of miss. But if you do the medium and heavy, there's, you kind of like catch Ryu as, as he's coming down because the spin is slower. So let me show you what I mean. So if you do this, you see? So do the medium or heavy one. So now you just want to add um, the drive impact. All right, EX kick, boom, boom. Number eight looks very straightforward. It looks like it's just a overdrive round kick 
and you catch Ryu with a light spinning punch. All right, let's do that. Spinning punch. There we go. The Manai should be straightforward. It looks like medium kick into EX run kick and then into the super. All right, now let's connect everything. Uh, medium kick into this, into this. All right. Number 10 looks pretty straightforward. Just a heavy punch into a kick super. Looks very easy, right? Uh, so let's see. So basically like that, okay? But, oh, oh, let me go back. Let me go back to the previous one. So I want to show you something. Uh, so one thing that a lot of advanced players do is when they do this uh, combo, right? Or let's say that when they do an empty super, they don't just press one kick. And look at my hands right now. You see I'm just pressing one button, right? What a, what a lot of advanced players do is they press three buttons. They would do something like that. The reason is in simple terms is like you see how there's six directions next to the kick on, on line, line two. So the reason a super comes out is because the game matches those six directions with that kick, right? For any reason, if your kick doesn't get matched with those six directions, your super doesn't come out, right? That's kind of like the basics. So by doing like the piano one, two, three, it gives you three kicks. So you have six directions and now you instead of, if you miss that one kick, right? You have two more kicks for the super to register. So it kind of give you two more chances for super to come out. So that's why a lot of people, when they do supers, they do that instead. So you don't have to, but it's something to uh, to pick up and get used to. It also helps in certain combos, in tight situations and tight combo strings. Number 11, let's take a look at the sample because it looks kind of long. We got the cancel into the one, two, spin into the super. It doesn't look that hard. It looks weird, but it's, it's not too hard. You just have to break it down into two parts, right? Line by line, right? Medium punch, medium punch cancel, medium punch cancel into medium punch, right? Make sure you get this timing right, okay? This one should be very easy, all right? Part two is going to be the back punch into the spin into the super, all right? You just have to uh, cancel it on time so it doesn't go into the graph, okay? So make sure you cancel this on time. So once you get the two parts together, uh, it's, it's a weird combo, but it's not too hard. Uh, let's see, uh, thin, 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 like that. That's a long combo, I mean long super. Advanced one, this one actually looks easier than the last one. Uh, this one is more straightforward, so let's do it line by line. Medium punch, medium punch into EX overhead. So this is one part, part one. So let's do this separately. Part two is just crouching medium punch into a round kick. All right, just this part. Looks pretty straightforward, so let's do this. Uh, this into that, this into this. All right, advanced two. Let's take a look at this sample. We have kick into launch, kick into launch, spin kick into super. Not too crazy, it's just a lot of command inputs, a lot of quarter circles. So for this one, you kind of have to know and have your quarter circles down consistently, you know? So after the medium kick, it's just quarter circle and quarter circle, and then you have the spin kick, and then you have the super. So once you put them together is kick launch, launch, spin kick into the super. Advanced 3, let's take a look at the sample. It's uh, kick into double launch, parry cancel into punch, spinning into super. This one is quite a long combo. So this is the element from before. You got kick and launch and then launch, right? Make sure you know this one, but you should because this was from the last one. You wouldn't be here if you didn't know this one, right? unless you skipped it. The second one is uh, try parry, cancel. All right, do this 10 times. Make sure you get this one down into muscle memory, all right? So I'm talking while I'm doing this. So you focus, you should be able to do this 10 times without any 
you know, trouble. Don't mash, okay? And then you want, once you hit the punch, it will be the spinning into super, all right? So, something like this, okay? And now if we add, ooh, almost kick the mic down. The medium punch, okay, let me refresh. And then, so, double, double kick into this, okay. Double kick, double kick, oh, hold on. Double kick, double kick, into this. And then I just add the spinning into the super, okay. Let's see. Double kick, double kick. There we go. All right. Success. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe is always helpful for a small channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video.